Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we'll look at modifier sets and just general reasons why you might want to use it. Um, so I, I use them a lot at, at work and I think they're a great way to just kind of increase your workflow speed. Um, I use those as well as hotkeys and just general um, the modifier stacks that are already there, but you'll, you'll see why they're, they're quite quite cool. So the way you find them are, you go up to this upper right here, you find this the modifier tab, looks like the little blue arc, you click that, and by default the, uh, the modifier sets aren't showing up. So the way you make them show up are, you go here, configure modifier sets, you click that, and then um, you can say show buttons, and now you'll see here uh, you have some modifier buttons, and if you want to edit that, you can go here, configure modifier sets, or you can select pre-made ones by Autodesk if you just click in this list here. But let's say I want to make my own, so I'll go configure modifier sets, and now this little uh, new UI window here pops up. Um, so at first it just says mesh editing or whichever one you choose from here, but when you make your own, you'll see that this name kind of blanks out. So the, it changes when you start making changes to this default one. So if I say total buttons, maybe I know I only need four different buttons that I use a lot. Um, and then the way you want to change these existing ones are, uh, so say if I want to edit poly in this upper left one, I find it in this left side modifier stack. I just left click and hold and drag it onto that button and now you'll see it says edit poly. And then maybe I also want vertex paint so I just left click hold, drag it over where I would want it to be, it goes there, unwrap EVW, use just about every day so that can go there and then we need one more something. Let's sure FFDD lattice. Those are quite powerful. So I'll click that there. Now I hit OK. So now you see a change to these buttons. But at first I can't click them, and that's only because I don't have geometry that is usable by those stacks. So if I just put a box in, I just zero it out real quick, and then say I want to add a unwrap UBW. You see here in my stack, the unwrap showed up and it works exactly as you would expect it to, like any other way. And it's much faster than going through here and then searching for the Unwrap UVW uh, in this list, because like, so now it's just one click away. So it's quite powerful for tools you use quite often in your workflow. So use that in conjunction with hotkeys and you'll speed up your work. See ya.